Hi guys, welcome to this very special video, a video which I think is very unique on YouTube and in the internet because I think nobody has done this before. I'm a big fan of time lapse recordings and so I'm comparing here two surveillance cameras, I mean two battery operated uh, solar powered uh, surveillance cameras which have a very unique option and that's the time lapse. I think till about uh, two years ago it was not possible to have it at least in normal consumer range or for a normal price it was not possible to get something like that and I think the first camera which invented this or brought this function was the Vicecam Outdoor about two years ago. You can see that here, you can buy it for around $69. So here's the normal listing with the base station. You have to buy this as a kit, at least the first camera, and you need the uh, solar panel separately which comes then to around I would say $100. When we look at the second one, that's the Rio Link. Uh, the Argus 3 Pro then we are a little bit more expensive but uh, at the end it's not much of a difference uh, with the solar panel. Unfortunately both of these cameras need a specific solar panel so if you're interested the best thing is to buy the solar panel right away from the beginning. You cannot just use any normal standard 5 volt uh, solar panel unfortunately. This one here needs special waterproof protection and the device cam needs it's a really special kind of uh, power behavior, a really strange one. And also it has a very specific waterproof cover. So anyway, they are very similar, very similar in price, very similar in function. I mean, their primary focus is on uh, surveillance, I mean observation, they, you can put it on a, like an entrance or so outside and then they will check if somebody is approaching with infrared, I mean passive infrared and then they can send you some information, you can talk to people, I think both have two-way audio like speaker and microphone, so they work in a very similar way. And again what they have in common is their possibility of uh, doing time lapse. So what I'm going to show you is both of the time lapse, how you set it up, how you download, how it looks like the footage from both of the cameras and then I'm comparing them a little bit and then at the end of the video I'm going to give you my recommendation which one is my favorite and there's a clear favorite. So when you start you would think they are very similar but it's quite some different. So let's start with device. We go to device app. I mean that's the emulation on my PC but it's the same thing basically on the phone. So here we have device cam outdoor and from here we have to go into more. Of course we have to wait for a stable connection. We go into more and then to set it up we go into time lapse and then we can start it from here. And uh, yeah, we have just two different things which we can set. I mean, of course, we have also some special features like sunset and sunrise. And I think they will even, based on your location, set the right time. That's really cool. Flower, blossom, clouds, those things. But when you go into custom, then we have just a start time, which can be any day and uh, time as you can see you can even uh, go to next week or so start whenever you want any time any day and then we have the duration uh, duration can be anything I mean any uh, amount of days any amount of hours and also any amount of minutes so let's say we do this for two minutes and then the interval but the interval is quite limited we have only two seconds five seconds ten seconds fifteen seconds uh, five minutes ten minutes uh, these things uh, this thing is very, very limited, especially compared to the real link. You will see that later. Here we are very, very limited. There are just uh, very few options. That's the uh, big problem here. The good thing with both of them is based on the uh, amount of time, uh, the length and the interval, it will give you a final video length. That's pretty cool. So when we increase this to, let's say, five minutes, you will see 
final video length is also longer or when we increase the interval of course then the, the final video length will be reduced that's really amazing here that's really good so we save that and it will give you also an estimated video file size that's also very important because the connection between the vice cam outdoor and the base station is only i think 0.8 uh, gigahertz and that's pretty slow i mean they have improved this uh, connection uh, by a lot since the camera came out it was very very bad when it came out and now it's much better so you have quite a good uh, reception and a, a long wireless range that's pretty good and when you're happy with everything start time now you can start it here with the set and then it will start and tell you when it's finished but you can finish it anytime one of the big problems here is when you go out i mean and you're watching the live video again then of course it's a little bit struggling because the camera has very limited cpu and ram and when you're doing some things here or let's say live recording speaking talking making picture in the back there has to be this time lapse produced then especially device cam outdoor is heavily struggling much more than the real link the real link is doing much better job i mean they have improved this it was really super bad when you had started a time lapse like two years ago and you went into live view uh, almost instantly the time lapse would crash and not produce the final uh, file anymore now they have improved it what we can also see the battery there's also a huge difference between the battery consumption usually when i have done let's say a one hour time lapse or so with the wise cam auto it easily can consume maybe 10 percent of the whole battery so it's highly recommended to use the time lapse only when you have a solar power solar panel attached to this camera especially the vice cam but also the real link it's quite some battery consumption there but it's maybe like a third or so maybe if you have same time lapse the real link would consume maybe three percent of the whole battery and the vice cam about ten percent so let's go back into time lapse and let's stop this here and then to see the final result we have to go also into more we go into album we go down to time lapse and then we have all the time lapses here and that's probably the one which we have produced it's just one second we click on that and you can see it has to download it for one second it's very fast if you have a time lapse for a minute or so it can take a lot of time to download especially when you have uh the camera far away and you have bad reception if you would have to do this uh, like two years ago sometimes it took me hours to download even a very short time lapse and then you can click on that and usually it starts playing sometimes I, I have been struggling a lot with this you can see it's doing good job works really good but sometimes i mean i had a lot of problems uh, one thing I can recommend if you're having problems to download and play the video especially to play when it's not playing then take out the SD card from the camera then you can grab your footage transfer it to your PC you can watch it and at the same time clean the directory the whole directory where you find all the time lapses and start from scratch put back the SD card into the camera and then from then on it will uh, work much better so we have a longer one here you can see i make it a little bit larger it's not bad but it's quite limited regarding the quality it has nothing to do uh, with the interval but it's just the quality i mean it's 1080p but you can see it's quite blurred and we will see the difference then to the real link which is a total different thing the real link uh, you will see that especially if you're watching this on a smartphone or so absolutely no problem but if you want to see this on a pc yeah the quality of device cam time lapse is not so good so let's go to the real link now real link works in a similar way when we started we have the device uh, cloud footage then we go to the camera but we don't have to go into live view but of course we have to connect and then it helps when we have uh, the live view i have it uh, very close to the router because that's one of the biggest problems with the real link if you have 
a bad uh, connectivity if you have it placed le let's say maybe 60 feet from the router or so then it's highly struggling to do anything especially live view and especially the time lapse it's almost impossible to download so that's the reason why i took it in and put it uh, right beside of the router to start the time lapse we have to go into settings then go fully down the time lapse and we have a very similar thing here here we have the latest time lapse here we can create a new one and here we have the overview of our last time lapse that's a little bit difficult to find and also here we can choose if we want to overwrite uh, the storage if the storage is full so to create a new time lapse we have also these predefined things like with device but here we are going into customize as well and we have the option same thing we can do it at any day and any time let's say we choose somewhere in may let's go back sometimes it's a little bit uh, difficult here is that really no time yeah here we have the time down here okay we have the day, uh, date time so just go back and uh, it will be stored and then we have also the duration we can do it for uh, any d uh, amount of days any amount of hours and any amount of minutes same thing as with the device but now it comes uh, here is the interval we have much more settings here than with the device i mean we have some recommended settings but as you can see we can start with 10 seconds 20 seconds 30 seconds we have a couple of different minutes we can do even a couple of hours you can see we have much more but uh, i think the smallest or the lowest setting is 10 seconds i think with the device we had a smaller one like two seconds or so but in general we have much more options here so let's go just back and it's stored and then also a very unique thing and uh, something much better than the device we have two types of the quality we have fluent which produces a much smaller file size of course limits a little bit the quality of the image but it's still pretty good the video and then we have the clear which is much much better than with the device cam i can show you that and we also get an estimated length and estimated file size that's very very helpful so let's do that here 1502 that's in one minute and uh, yeah actually we could start it right from here but it will start only in a minute operation failed for whatever reason i never had this yeah i think i go back make new one uh, so i'm starting from scratch here hopefully it will work now time lapse uh, we create a new one customize and so let's start now and you can see okay it's running and i can finish this anytime but of course i can also leave and keep it running but i could also go back to the time lapse and finish it here at any time so it's saying it's generating and by the way there was quite some difference regarding the reliability between the Wisecam Outdoor and the Rio Link with the Wisecam Outdoor I've been starting many many time lapses and when I came back to check the footage maybe one day later there was nothing there it just has magically disappeared and that was very very disappointing because in a lot of cases you can't repeat that it was maybe a very unique uh, situation uh, regarding like a hurricane or so and with the real link this has never happened every time I've started the time lapse it was finishing and then the footage was prepared and finished very reliably what I can do during this time I can go into the time-lapse gallery that's pretty cool so I can see everything I can click on that what we have it has to download as well and here it's very important to have it very 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 close to the router otherwise it will be heavily struggling when it's just let's say 60 feet from the router or so it's almost impossible to cache this thing down on your device on your mobile phone or so and uh, now it's saying finished and we can play it from here 
or we can also upload uh, to any cloud we can download it we can just watch it here so we can do whatever you want to do that's uh, also very convenient and, and also of course very very similar to the vice cam no big difference but you can already see and feel that's quite some difference regarding footage and this is what i'm going to show of course i'm going to finish this thing here as well and then you can check it that's the latest recording we can download it but it's uh, nothing here i mean it's just recording the uh, the router so there's not not much to see here so let's get to the comparison of the footage and that's the wise cam 1080p so you can see when i go into the info you can see it's two megapixel 1080p it has produced 3.9 megabytes it's pretty small that's good that we have small footage we can share it easily we can download it easily but you can see the quality i mean exactly i've been uh, using exactly same settings same duration same interval same everything on the vice cam as on the real link and here with the vice cam you can see the quality i mean if you're using this on a phone yeah not bad if you're using this on your pc yeah definitely not so good now let's watch exactly same footage i mean i didn't have it side by side i had it a couple of feet uh, apart because the real link has been a little bit struggling with the uh, wireless reception uh, again that's a little bit the thing here but regarding quality you can see the quality here the image day and night everything is much 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 better the huge difference compared to the vice camera and you can see i mean of course the video is a little bit larger it has almost double the size but same thing 2.1 megapixel 1080p exactly the same just the file size a little bit larger and you can see the quality quality is so much nicer especially if you want to use the time lapse on your pc then choose the real link so even though my sympathy is usually on the side of the vice vice cam i mean vice company i mean this is a really small company a re very innovative company there are just a few very dedicated people and they are highly struggling financially and uh, I, I know a lot of people are not so happy with them they are now trying to uh, push a lot of people into subscriptions but it's not a way to optimize their profits it's not like a big company which already makes billions or so and they are trying to squeeze out their customers to make more billions no it's absolutely not they are highly highly struggling they are trying to survive and stay in business and so i always try to support i know that they are struggling and i can fully understand what they are going through and how they are trying to stay in business but uh, yeah in this case we see a, a very 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 clear uh, advantage on the side of the real link they have done a much better job here and uh, probably they have a much faster cpu larger battery whatever so this is uh, much much better i mean i have done already quite some really interesting footage nice recordings from device cam that's another uh, one from device cam and it's very very nice to watch uh, especially on the phone but again if you go to a pc watch this on a pc you want to go with this quality by the way i mean the first one which i've been show to showing to you that's the clear option and that's the smooth option that's the smooth option which is producing a smaller file and optimizing a little bit or compromising a little bit the quality because but you can see it's still much better than with the vice camera even though it's producing very very small file only uh, uh, yeah i'll fast forward it a little bit to the day and you can see it's uh, a little bit similar to the vice cam but still better even on this uh, optimized quality here and on the clear quality there's absolutely no question this is uh much much superior absolutely no doubt about that just a few additional things which i forgot to tell you one thing one advantage of device is that the settings will be stored when you go back to the real link 
you will have to set everything from scratch and uh, none of the last settings which you have been using is stored and for both of the cameras it's not possible to have standing order let's say if you want to tell yeah do uh, such a video every day at the same time it's not possible with both of the uh, cameras the only thing which you have but I haven't tried this if you go to the real link when you create a new time-lapse and you set the duration let's say for one day you get automatically a new daily capture period that's not showing up before you have to really say uh, one day or more than one day and you can limit the time I mean you can set a start time let's say seven o'clock and then you can do an end time let's say 705 confirm and you can see it will then record i mean of course that doesn't make any sense but we can do this for uh, let's say 10 days and then we have it for 10 days always from 7 to 705 you can start this and this is a huge advantage of course it will then produce only one file not uh, 10 files it would be really nice to have the option to produce 10 files uh, always from 7 to 705 but at least we have the chance to do this on many days at the same time if you want to capture the sunrise at the same or similar time for maybe one month or so this could be a huge advantage with device cam you have to do this every day again so my recommendation goes to the real link argus 3 pro and not to the device cam but uh, it's uh, on your own to decide maybe you have more sympathy to the wise cam outdoor and i can fully understand and so i'll put down the links of both of these products down into the description so you can check them out and order the one you like more for yourself and i still hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time